Hello guys. Today I want to share my top 10 indoor plants that can tolerate low light. Most of the areas in my home are low light. So you know that I have to have a lot of low light tolerant plants. So let's get started with my list of 10 low light plants that can tolerate low light areas. Low light tolerant house plant number one, the Fetonia plant. Better known as the nerve plant. Guys, this plant right here is so easy to care for. Although it is on the list of a low light tolerant plant, it can also tolerate medium and indirect bright light. You can place it in any area of your home as long as it does not get direct sunlight. It also lets you know when it's time for some water. When the leaves starts to droop, it needs watering. Low light tolerant house plants number two. The silver satin pothos. This beauty right here, guys, has been placed all over my house and it is still beautiful. Like the Fetonia plant, it can also tolerate medium and indirect bright sunlight too. All I do for this plant is water it when the soil gets dry or when the pot feels lightweight when I lift it up. The best thing about this plant is it can be propagated to make more plants. Low light plant number three. The lemon lime philodendron. This gorgeous baby right here, guys, can make any low light areas in your home come alive. If I could, I would place at least two of these beauties in every room in my house. If you have a small house or a small apartment, and you don't have a lot of space or floor space, this plant, if it's kept small, can be used on tabletop. It can be used as centerpieces for your coffee table and dining room table, and it can be hung from the ceiling. It is very easy to care for. It only needs to be water when the soil dries out. I usually lift this plant to see if it needs water. If it feels light, I give it water. What I like about this plant also is it can also be propagated. Low light plant number four, the Chinese evergreen. I love almost any plant that has pink in it. If you want to bring a little color to your living space, then this Chinese evergreen is what you are looking for. It is another easy to care for low light tolerant plant. Although it is considered a low light tolerant plant, it will never have a bright pink in the foliage unless you place it in a brighter room. What I do for mine is place it in a median or brighter room that gets indirect sunlight and I keep it there for several weeks until I notice the brighter pink color changing. Once I notice that the plant has gained 
a brighter pink color then I place it back in a low light area where you can enjoy the bright pink I give this plant water when the soil feels dry two or three inches down or when I lift it again if it feels light I give it water if it feels heavy I don't water it low light plant number five the snake plant mothers-in-law tongue or sansevieria as it is called is a very hardy plant it can be owned by anybody no matter what's the climate on the inside of your home except it doesn't like temperatures below 60 degrees again this plant is easy to care for and requires less watering frequencies than any plant I know besides the ZZ plant. Low light plant number six, the golden pothos. I must tell you guys, this plant is one of those plants that you see everywhere. You see them everywhere because they are tolerant of all types of lighting conditions. If you don't care about the variegations in the leaves, you can place them in low light areas. The last I counted, I have around 15 golden pothos and they are scattered throughout my house. The benefits of owning these plants are amazing. Two of my favorite benefits of owning these plants are one, they can purify the air in your home. I have a video that provides a lot of more information on how they can purify the air in your home. Please remember that this is the only plant in the Pothos family that is listed as a home air purifier. Two, it can make you money. Yes, you can propagate them and sell them. I do it all the time. I let the soil dry out completely between watering and I use the lifting test to see if it needs water. Low light plant number seven, the peace lily. The peace lily is considered a low light tolerant plant but if you want your peace lily to keep blooms you must keep it in a room that gets medium to ind indirect bright sunlight i don't really care about the blooms that much so i can keep mine in a low light area Right now, I have some in low light areas and some in medium light areas of my home. I water them when the leaves first starts to droop. I also made an entire series on peace lily care. I will leave a link in the description. Low light plant number eight, pearls and jade pothos plants. This plant not only can tolerate low light, but it can tolerate median and bright lights as long as it's not getting direct sunlight. The leaves will burn if it gets direct sunlight. This pothos doesn't seem to grow as fast as the golden pothos, but it requires the same care as the golden pothos. Low light plant number nine. The beautiful Chinese evergreen, better known as the Aglonema. Yes, it can tolerate low light, but it loves it when you occasionally move it to a brighter area of the home. 
all the beautiful colors in the plant shows better. That's what sunlight does for this plant. It is easy to care for. I let the soil dry out between watering. You can also use the lift test on this plant. Low light plant number 10 is my beautiful and hearty baby, the ZZ plant. Guys, I have tested this plant and have discovered from experience that not only can this plant tolerate low light, but can tolerate very, very low light. All my bathrooms are windowless, and I have at least one ZZ plant in all of them. I can't tell you how surprised I was when I did a checkup on them after being in the windowless bathroom for over six months. They looked amazing, but grew sort of slow. If you want to see that video, I will leave a link to it in the description. Just remember, sunlight is required for most plants, just like it is required for us. Plants can make their own food when it gets the proper amount of sunlight. I have a video explaining how low light might affect our plants. I will leave a link in the description box to that video. Thanks for watching guys and I see you all in the next video. So please subscribe, like, comment, and share. On the screen right now you will see some more videos on low light plants. So you can watch them next. Bye.